Hi guys, over the past few weeks we've had lots of landlords ask us for advice on how to correctly serve their tenants a no-fault eviction notice. Now these would be the replacement for the older Section 21 notices. Now you may wish to serve this notice because you want to sell your property with vacant possession, um, evict an undesirable contract holder, or simply wish to move into the property yourself. The two most common forms that private landlords will use to bring about a no-fault eviction notice will be the RHW 16 and RHW 17 notices. Unlike the old Section 21 notices, an RHW no-fault eviction notice can't be served until the fixed period of an occupation contract expires. The first of these notices is the RHW 16 notice and provides the contract holder with a minimum of six months to vacate. If the contract holder has not vacated at the expiry of the notice period, as before, you will need to take the matter to court to obtain possession. One of the key changes the Rent and Homes Wales Act brought in was the right of the contract holder to remain at the property for longer in a no-fault eviction situation. For example, on a six-month fixed standard occupation contract, an RHW 16 no-fault notice can only be served once the fixed period has expired. The notice will provide the contract holder six more months to vacate, ensuring the contract holder has a 12-month occupation in total. There is an exception to this, and this is where the RHW 17 two-month no eviction, no fault eviction notice comes in. Where you have converted an old, a short, short haul tenancy into a periodic standard occupation contract, you can serve the RHW 17 notice. This provides the contract holder with only two months to vacate the property. Now, before you get too excited, the two month notice was designed as a short term measure to accommodate the transition of existing ASTs into the new standard occupation contracts. If you want to serve the RHW 17 notice, providing your contract holder with two months notice to leave, then you must do this before the 31st of May 2023. After this date, all contract holders are entitled to a six month notice on a no fault eviction situation. If your tenant has breached the terms of their occupation contract, notices of eviction for serious rent arrears, prohibited conduct or abandonment can be used with shorter notice periods. I'll be covering these in a future video. If you have any questions, the no fault eviction process or you need any help with gaining possession of your property, drop me a line. We're always here to help. And thanks for watching.